What's up, everybody? It's your boy Kid Smooth from Tick GN, also from Tick Writers Block. I am back with a video, and um, it just dawned on me. And uh, no need to beat around a bush, but I think Rise of the Tomb Raider PlayStation 4 version might be canceled. Yes, it might be canceled. I'm talking about not coming to the platform at all. And here's a, a here's, a, here's a, I have a couple um, evidence to support my claim. Now, back when uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider was announced to be an Xbox exclusive, the world went nuts. You had people like Angry Joe piss his pants and all these other big guys blow smoke from their ears, all upset because they didn't feel the Xbox One deserves such an exclusive, such a big exclusive, a, a, a game that was popular on the PlayStation platforms years prior. Uh, Phil Spencer and everybody had to backtrack. Crystal Dynamics had to, had to give like, hint, hey, it's not a true exclusive, it's a timed exclusive. Yes, it, appear, it eventually launched on the Xbox One and the Xbox 360 on November 2015, and then eventually made its way to uh, Windows 10 PCs and other PC platforms, uh, I think in January or February of 2016. Um, However, it was said to be coming to the PlayStation 4 holiday 2016. Well, as of June 2016, E3 has come and gone, and there's no signs of Tomb Raider on, um, on being on PlayStation. There wasn't even, no, no showcasing, no demos, no announcement or release date of a PlayStation version uh, coming at all. It's, even if you look, I have researched almost everywhere you could possibly possibly buy the game. The only place you can potentially reserve Rise of the Tomb Raider for, for the PlayStation 4 is Amazon.com. Which you can almost reserve anything that doesn't exist yet on Amazon.com. I mean, you'll get your money back. I don't even think it takes your money out right away when you pre-order it. But it, I was like, okay, Amazon is a good source. But let me try some other places. How about GameStop? I searched GameStop, Rise of the Tomb Raider, PlayStation 4 in the search bar, and there's not even a pre-order option. There, it does. There's no box art. There's just the Xbox version, the PC version, the 360 version, and the season pass that shows up. You will not find a PlayStation 4 version available for pre-order, at least not within the first page. Um, I also went to Square Enix's website. And the last, uh, they don't even have much of Rise of the Tomb Raider on their site, so nothing from the, for the PlayStation version at all, only PC and Xbox version. If you go to the Crystal Dynamics website, you are able to purchase the game, but only the PC version, um, and then you'll get linked to uh, other stores to get the Xbox One version. So, it's like, okay, we haven't heard from it at E3, we have not gotten an update um, it has already released on a PC, it has already released on Xbox, it is already released on the Xbox 360, and still no word on the PlayStation version. So, I am just left with, I think they're going to cancel the game. Now, there is this article going around about the game potentially being canceled, but um, I, there's, there's no one has came out and said that it was canceled. Now, I think Square Enix might potentially cancel the game because... Uh, they missed the timing for it to come out. They couldn't release it, obviously, in the spring uh, with Uncharted 4. And it's like releasing it in the fall might put them in the same position as they were with the Xbox version. So it's, and I feel like the people, anybody that was excited for the game on the PlayStation platform has already gotten over it. So by putting it out there, they might even, they probably already, they lost their potential sales for the game. And I don't think Rise of the Tomb Raider will make its uh, debut on the PlayStation. It will be, um, it, Xbox was supposed to have a year exclusive, but when you don't, it's crazy when in June, you can't pre-order the game and most at, at anywhere, I guess only but Amazon, that's just a little strange. So we might be looking at the case that Rise of the Tomb Raider might be a console exclusive. Um, and I think they probably had all intentions to release it on the PlayStation 4, but looking at the numbers and looking at uh, the potential targets, they might not benefit by making a port. 
the port might hurt them more than they will help them. Um, the game has already sold over a million on the Xbox One. I'm pretty sure over a million on the PC. I don't know, nor do I care how much it sold on the Xbox 360. But a lot of people say, hey, you put it on the PlayStation 4 anyway. They, they got a 40 million install base. But like I said, you can when it comes to games, they have to release at a certain time. And with a game like Tomb Raider, which it's already been out for half a year on a three other platforms, uh, the, it coming to the PlayStation would just be doing their due diligence but may not see a return on sales and from the looks out of it if you go to crystal dynamics website you go to square enix website you go to gamestop uh there's no sight of a playstation 4 version of rise of the tomb raider and generally if a game's coming out november october i mean you should be able to pre-order it in june july so let me know what you guys think i won't be surprised if we get an announcement within the next two to three weeks about a cancellation or a delayed release and i mean if the game comes out in 2017 is it really worth it but that's all i got for you guys let me know what you think hit that like button hit that share button and you bet to comment thank you guys for watching xbox is the best box and i am the best bot let me know is rise of the tomb raider playstation 4 version canceled i think so i think so that's all i got we have